Let's talk about uh, a, a particularly sad story because Emma Vic Mahuna was in where you were sitting only months ago. Yeah. And we spoke at some length after the show about life and, and, her, and her philosophy and where she saw it all going and spoke subsequent to that. And it's, it, 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 so, it was such a swift, she, she became a national figure mm. and an, an important in part of that conversation about cervical cancer along with Vicky Phelan, Stephen Teep and others. And that's why we have to talk about her tonight because yeah. it ended so sadly. It did. Um, it ended with uh, with her passing Correct, yeah. uh, in October of, of uh, this year. Yes. Uh, and our photograph is of her funeral cortege, which is uh, passing there. You see a passing government building As she, on wished. the day of her funeral. The 10th of October, I think, was the, uh, was the date of the funeral. She died just a couple of days beforehand. Um, I mean, she was a remarkable young woman, th just 37 years old, um, mother of five children. The youngest was only three. It, from about May onwards, she gave a series of interviews about her experience uh, following the failure to detect her cervical cancer. She had the smear test, but uh, it, it gave her the all clear, but she wasn't all clear. Yeah. And as you say, she was interviewed on this programme and elsewhere. She was interviewed on Morning Ireland, which That's is the right. programme I work on now. Yeah, My colleague, interview. Audrey Carvel, spoke to her. It was the day after she got the word that her cancer had returned. Mm -hmm. I mean, a devastating piece of news for anybody. And uh, it was just a, a heart-wrenching interview. And I mean, the thing that I remember particularly was she spoke about how she, her great fear was that her smallest child, little boy, I think of three, wouldn't remember his mother. Mm. And, you know, if you're a parent, well, you don't even have to be a parent. I mean, that just, that's like a yeah. dagger through your heart. There's five children um, with a very difficult Christmas. And, and yet facing that, she spoke out again and again. And her family said they wanted the cortege to make this journey, to pass government buildings and to pass uh, the doll as well. You can see there, I think, maybe some of the staff or passers-by, yeah. people just applauding, uh, showing their, their tribute and their respect to her. And what her family said is they wanted Emma's tragic situation never to happen to another Irish mother or an Irish woman again. Um, and I suppose if we can say that at some point, um, then she will certainly be one of those to whom uh, the, the credit for that would go. Yeah, I would agree yeah. with that. And we wish her family the very best Every this Christmas. Yeah. Difficult time. Very